here with the iconic Tom Kiefer, the one and only, the legendary. Can I call you legendary now? Uh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not aging or dating you, but you know, I mean, I'll tell you, Tom is influencing a lot of bands these days, you know, and playing with a lot of these uh, these new upcoming bands, and everybody's talking about the Kiefer, the Cinderella influence. What I wanted to talk to you about, though, a little bit, we sometimes do a five and five with artists. So... I was thinking, we'll get you to do in five and five, five questions in under five minutes. Yet for it? Yeah, sure. All right. I want to know your epiphany moment in rock and roll where you looked and said, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. You know, I've, I've thought about that a lot recently, and, and I'm not exactly sure what, like, I can't, it's hard to pinpoint one moment. It, it kind of like, like accumulated. Um, but I think the first thing that made me want to pick up the guitar and sing was seeing the Beatles on television. And then that, that started guitar lessons and singing. And then that progressed into I heard the Rolling Stones. And it's like, ooh, ooh this is a little dirtier and cooler. Yes, yes, now, yes. And it was kind of, I kind of grew into it, really. You know, I mean, some people say it was this moment and that was everything. And mine was more cumulative, I think, of different influences. And, you know, I think that's affected my writing a lot, too, that I have, I have a lot of different uh, a background musically. So it's hard to pinpoint one moment. But, the start of it was seeing the Beatles, but I don't really write anything that sounds like the Beatles. Yeah, right, right, right. So that's what I mean. It kind of grew from there. So. So the first record. Do you remember your first purchase as a kid, where you said you couldn't wait to get it home, put it on the old turntable? I do remember that. It was the first Monkeys album. Monkeys. And I bought it with my own money, and uh, I think albums then were albums, four dollars, right? So. That's, that was the big one for me. I had a big crush on Davey. I was devastated when Davey got married. He used to run home from school, watch the monkeys. So I'm, I'm with you. All right, so Tom Kiefer is not a singer. Tom Kiefer, something else. What would be like the second thing that you think would be super interesting for Tom Kiefer to be? If I'm not a singer, I'd be trying to sing. Really? Yeah. So there is, there is no, <laughs> except no substitutes. Funny is, I, I, you know, I started off as a guitarist, and then my teacher that taught me guitar would make me sing. And I think that's how the singer, songwriter, guitar player, the three come in together. Um, but I never considered myself a singer until you know the whole story, and I won't go into it until I lost my voice due to the paralysis. And then it was a lot like a song that I wrote, Don't Know What You Got Until It's Gone. And all of a sudden I realized, wow, I'm a singer. I really need this thing. Right, right, right. So that really, it really dawned on me then. So. So I have actually had that period of time where I wasn't a singer and everyone was saying, what are you going to do if you can't get it back? And I just kept saying, I'm going to get it back. So, so you did. I actually did. have lived through what you just asked me. So. All right. Bucket list artist, dead or alive, that if you could play with, um, it would just be like your big moment. The Stones. I want to be Keith for a night. Oh, God. But I don't have to sing. Just play guitar, you know, lay back, be cool, come up, hit a couple harmonies with Mick and step back, and, you know, sound, sound, that would be great. Cigarette on the side of the guitar. Well, you don't have to smoke it, but it can just be hanging out on the side of the guitar. Yeah, right up on the thing. So, so your favorite thing um, about being you, your favorite thing about being a working musician, somebody who's been able to continue your career, and you've got your band, you've got your solo career, you're out there touring, the fans are coming in droves to see you. What, what is the best thing about that? Being on the road. Being on the road and um, doing shows, that moment of sharing the music that you've spent so much time creating. You know, There's, a, there's the creation process, which is a, a love-hate thing, because you're trying to get this thing in your head to come out of the speakers. Um, and once you create that, you get on the road with a bunch of people who you love, which, you know, we've, I've said over and over, this band is amazing. And you go out there and you share that moment with your fans and people. And it's a real moment. And it's one take. What it is, it is. There's no do-overs. And it's rock and roll. And you just do it and move on. And, you know, and it's, it's cool. It's, it's because you don't ever think it. The Way Life Goes is available now. If you have not picked it up and checked it out, you must. And Tom Kiefer, thank you so much. I just love you. Thank you. It's always great to see you. Mwah. Drop some rain, ooh, baby. I'm standing right here on this corner trying to find words to explain. A pretty just like a flower. You just got to stand close to. They come and go like that.